Okay, today Kevin and I are going to be <laughs> uh, doing a video that Lauren thought would be a cool idea. Lauren has had to go gluten free for a while and so she um, was just curious which gluten free brownies we thought were the best. So we have three gluten free brownies. The one Kevin is holding is from Aldi and they were $2.99. And uh, Kevin can talk about uh, calories and stuff as he's making them. Uh, the Betty Crocker were the most expensive. They were $4.79, which I think is outrageous. And they were from Meyer, by the way. And then these Krusties were from Meyer, and they were $3.49. So the Aldi was definitely the cheapest at $2.99. So we're going to. Um, we're going to make all three of them. We're going to make all three. We're, we're going to do it all in one video. We're going to put all. We're going to do all three in one video. In this video, you're going to see it all. You're going to see us making them. You're going to see. Um, and then you're going to see the blind taste test. Then we're going to try them without looking to see which is which and see which one we think is the best for Lauren. Right. So, uh, which one are you going to make first? Uh, I'm going to try the um, Live G Free from, this was the Aldi, I'm pretty sure, wasn't it? Um, yes, Aldi. This one you need um, a half half cup melted, I'm sorry, wrong one. Um, I'm making the Betty Crocker one first. Oh, Betty Sorry. Crocker. Betty Crocker one first. You need um, a half a stick of melted butter, which I got in the bowl, and then two eggs. And you need to preheat your oven at 350, and we're going to make them in these little aluminum pans, which are good to, when we get done with them, you just throw them in the garbage. Um, I've already oiled the bottom. The oven's preheating. It's on 345 of 350. So basically, I'm just going to, you mix the, oh, let me tell the calories. These are all gluten-free, of course. Uh, no artificial colors or preservatives. Um, it's 110 calories, sorry, it's 150 calories prepared for 1 16th of this package. Wow. <laughs> so imagine cutting brownies up into 16 pieces out of that pan. That's one. Uh, it's 150 calories, which we'll see. They may be really thick, who knows. So basically just, we're basically just gonna mix it together, but of course it wouldn't open easily. Um, so anyway, grease the bottom of the pan, preheat your oven, stir the brownie mix, butter, and eggs in a medium bowl until well blended. And you can do it, one good thing about brownies is you can just do it by hand. You don't have to get a mixer out or anything like that. As long as you get a bowl, you're fine. This is uh, powderier than some of the other ones. I mean, it's literally like a, like a chocolate cloud. <laughs> a chocolate cloud. You can see the, um, the sugar. sugar in there. It smells very good. I'm gonna try to put these eggs back in the bag. some chocolate chips in there. I don't know if you can see them, but there's one right there. Mm -hmm. Chocolate chip. And there's some there's some chocolate chips in there. So that looks pretty good to me. So it basically just says, it says batter will be thick. Amen, sister. I mean, gag. <laughs> oh, that's a... <laughs> that's very thick. Yeah. That's a thick batter. Okay. So, we're going to spread in pan. It doesn't say pour in pan. It says spread in pan. So are you going to get all three in the pans and bake them all three um, at the same time? Let me see what the temperatures are on the other one. If they have the same temperatures. So the same temperatures. And this is 325 for the crusties. Okay. So we may be able to do these two together and we'll have to do the other one separately. Okay. Well, that's what I'm thinking. You can go from making these to making the other. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I do have clean bowls though, so they won't get contaminated no we won't uh, we won't use the same bowl definitely not that is the thickest brownie mix i have ever seen it's very thick it's very hard to to even do anything with but these might be those really cakey like brownies that the picture kind of looks uh i don't know they look pretty moist to me they look really good maybe they just don't rise a lot maybe this is the the thickness they tend to be 
Yeah, we're not used to buying gluten-free stuff. Yeah, so, so I don't know of how it works. I, I don't know if they rise, if they don't rise, if they have a different texture. I just know I had a lot of sugar in there. I don't know if the lot of sugar was to cover up for the flavor or, or what. Right. I think that's about as even as I'm going to get it. Well, I'm going to cut the camera off for a minute. Let yeah, because I've got to get stuff Get a new ball, new next. spoon, and all that, and we'll be right back. Hey, we went ahead and put the other ones, uh, the Betty Crocker ones, in the oven and start a timer on those. So while this is mixed up, they can be baking. Uh, this is the Live G Free from Aldi, correct? Yes. No. Well, the other ones, these take more time, I think. So they take since they take different times to cook, we just went ahead and started the other right. ones. Uh, one sixteenth of this package prepared is 180 calories. And I think the other one was less. Oh, it was less than that. So this one's a little bit more. Um, you need. Um, a half a cup of either melted butter or oil. So we went with a half a cup of oil, um, two large eggs, and two tablespoons of water. And just so to remind us how we're doing it, we've got little toothpicks we're just sticking in the batter after we put it in the pan, just so we'll remember which one's which. So that, that's why the toothpicks are there. So basically we're just gonna preheat the oven to 350. Um, It says add your oil, eggs, and water together and mix them first and then add your dry ingredients. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do as they instruct. They actually so, say whisk it together, but. So we could have used butter like we did in the first one, we could but have. we chose oil. Right. So either one. And you're using old. I'm gonna use these old balls. Uh, <laughs> we had, um, yeah, Tammy said these old balls. Um, we have new glass balls. The problem with the glass balls is when you're um, when you're trying to do this one out. Um, when you're trying to stir these really thick brownies up, they um, they're hard to hold at the same time as you um, as you're stirring. So I um, I just rather the this balls one. the glass balls are the really glass heavy. balls are heavy. I'm assuming the reason they said to do it this way is so your eggs and stuff kind of get all mixed together first. It says whisk them. I've never done that for anything, but we'll get them all mixed together one way or the other. Looks good to me. All right. Then we're going to dump this in here. Oof. It's a very fine powder, I've noticed. Yeah, look how fine that is. It's pretty, pretty fine mixture. So the first batch, I didn't say, they're uh, they bake for 28 to 31 minutes um, in the oven at 350, and these bake for um, 30 to 35 minutes. So pretty close to 30 minute line for both of them. This is not as thick. I mean, it is thick, but it's not as thick as the other batch was. And I've got my pan is greased on the bottom, just sprayed. I just use cooking spray. You can actually see this one pours. The other one, I literally had to spoon it out. I'm gonna get this in the oven and get the other stuff ready and then I'll be back. Okay, now I'm gonna do the crusties gluten-free. Um, this one is um, 1 16th, yeah, it's, it's 190 calories, so I think that's the most of any of them for 16th. Um, this one is, the oven goes on 325, so we're gonna have to do this after these other ones come out. You need a third of a cup of water, a third of a cup of vegetable oil, I'll just put them all in the same measuring cup. Um, you need one egg and then this mixture. So. Uh, Preheat the oven, lightly grease the pan, just pour the pan off, stir together water, oil, and egg and brownie mix until moistened. So basically just pour it all together and stir it up. This one actually says spoon, batter in the pan and spread evenly. So this is probably going to be another thick one.
And there's the egg. Like I said, we're gonna wait for the ovens to come out first, but once they come out, um, we'll reduce the temperature of the oven and put these in, and then we'll be back when they're all pretty much ready to go. Okay, we've taken, the brownies have cooled, and I cut uh, two uh, pieces from each pan because Andrew and Kevin are gonna do a blind taste test with these now. Um, I put a number on the plate uh, that corresponds with the brownies. Um, they are going to do a blind taste test. They're not going to have blindfolds on, but they will not know what they're trying. That's what makes it a blind taste test. Uh, this one just happens to be, uh, they're going to be able to look at them because uh, they're gooey. Um, this is going to be the first one that they're going to try. This is going to be the second one that they're going to try. And this one's going to be the third one. And so uh, this is how they look on the plate. Uh, you have one, two, and three, and I'll show you close-ups of the pans of one and two and three, and we'll be right back. Okay, here are the brownies, and <clears throat> this is what right? you're, you can try any, uh, try the same one. Just pick one out and try whatever you want. You start number one. Sure. Which is this one. Yeah, I'm just going to take it Is it the number one under that one? Yeah. Okay. So they're trying number one first. I have to say number one looks the prettiest. Mm-hmm. Then he wants to talk about the taste as we go. If you want to. Do you want to or do you want to just taste we can them all? Go. And do Let's it? just do them all. Okay. Okay. Do, can you see number two? Yeah. It's yeah. This one. Okay. Grab that. Number two. They're going the in rest order. That's a little hard, so. We got the same one. They're going in order. Oh, well, you kind of took the middle. Thanks. Right here. No, you didn't. Right here's the middle one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those half the middle. Usually the edge pieces of brownies, they oh. can be kind of hard, so. There are white cushions on these chairs, so I hope too much. <laughs> no, I, I pulled a piece off of it. Okay. And yeah. now you can try the third one. This is the one I thought looked the best. Oh, really? And just so you all know, I tried a little sliver of all three of them in the kitchen before I brought them in here, so I do have a favorite. I have a first, second, third place as well, so. I do too. Okay. I think I know which one I like the best. Okay. I like number two. You like number two? The best. Okay. Andrew, which one did you like the best? Number three. Really? <laughs> What's funny is number three is my least favorite. Number three was my number one. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I didn't like my for mom. Um, I didn't. I couldn't really taste number three it was soft and gooey. It, it was, was gooey. Soft. It had the best flavor. That's I what I liked. It I liked it. My the second goodness. best was number two. Yeah, number three. I didn't have. I didn't think it had any flavor at all to it. And it had that. Uh, I could, grainy flavor that I didn't like. I would go back and eat number three. I yeah. would keep eating three. Which one's number three? What did you think of number one? Which one's number three? I number, didn't like number, one. number three is the. This number is three. Aldi. That's Aldi brand. Man. Aldi wins. Yeah, and I liked it too. Yeah, it doesn't have, um, I, would have, I would have told you for sure that it had soy in it because it has that gre that granny feel to me. No, it's gluten-free, so, lactose-free, nut-free, soy-free, and wheat-free. So Which was number two then? Dad's favorite was number two. Which number was two Betty was the Betty Crocker. Mm -hmm. and, that was my second. And number one that no, you all didn't mention didn't at all, that was the crust yeah, was just here for I tasted that first one. I was like, "Wow! I hope they get better from here." Yeah, I did too. I was like, "That's it's pretty that, bad." That's, that's that's. I was like, "I could just not even 
if somebody made me these brownies, I'd be pretty disappointed. Yeah, and they look, I think they look nice, but they took the longest to bake, and they're the highest calorie ones. Yeah, they took a long time to bake. Yeah. Almost an hour. 48, 49 minutes, something like that, to bake the, the crusties, and, and they have the highest calories, and they're not as good. I like a brownie that's <clears throat> soft. I do, too. I do, too. And just I, melting. And I melting. did think that had the best texture, but the flavor for me was the difference. We've been kind of buying a kind here lately, and she's making them at home right now, I think. That where you uh, you squeeze this packet into the mm -hmm. into the mix and it's this, the they're gooey as they're just gooey and it, you can't even cut a piece and take it out it's just goo it's just, a pile, on <laughs> just a pile of chocolate just a pile of chocolate on your plate you can't even get a square out well I think both we all agree these are your top two at least mm -hmm. um, if you don't have a if you don't have an Aldi in your area go with the Betty Crocker they're really good as far as being gluten free. The pre daggum good for being gluten free. So if you have to live a gluten free life, then uh, you got a good brownie option. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've ever tried any gluten free brownies different than what we we tried, give your opinion in, in the comments. We'd like to hear them. So thanks for watching.